Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Nick Fury from the Toys R Us exclusive 3-pack, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So we're going to look at the front of the figure, and I'll go ahead and look, check out the back, and I'll go ahead and go over the details. Alright, so looking at Nick Fury up close, he comes with two guns, they both um, have a little blue stripe, they, they're really cool, they're the same handguns we've gotten with a lot of um, our recent Marvel Legends. You know, Punisher, um, Deadpool, it's all the same handgun, um, just painted a little differently. Doesn't look bad with that little blue line, looks actually kind of cool. But going, ahead and going over the figure now, I think this head sculpt looks great. I think this looks just like Samuel L. Jackson. I think it looks awesome. Very great likeness. I like the scarring uh, just above, you know, around his cheek and also above his eye patch. The paint didn't go all the way around, so you can kind of see some of the flesh uh, color um, on the side, but not too much of a big deal. I just really think that's cool they added that scar. Um, but I think that looks just like Samuel L. Jackson. It's really cool. Um, going with the rest of the figure, I mean, that uh, eye patch is all sculpted on. Same thing with along the stripe around the, you know, the, the band around it. It's all sculpted. Um, it's painted fairly well. You can kind of take the little brace right there, on the, or the clip right there on the back. I think that's painted really well. His little goatee you know, looks good. His eye looks good. Nice little brown eye. He's got his one eyebrow. Overall, I think it's a great head sculpt. Looks just like him. I think it looks awesome. Going to the rest of the figure, it's um, the re It's the same body mold we've seen numerous times with uh, many with our many of our Marvel Legends with the trench coat. You can honestly tell this is um, the Red Skull. He's got the same you know cosmic cube holding hand, which is kind of funny to have, but. You know, he does grab it in the first Avengers movie, so. But anyway, going to the rest of the figure, you can see the nice uh, trench coat. I think this is a cool trench coat. I like the way it looks. It's got nice uh, etching details. You can kind of, it looks like leather. Um, I like the way it's kind of suede, kind of so like it's been blown back. I think it looks really good. It is very pliable. And you can remove it, but I don't, I'm not going to do that. I just don't see why you would, since the sleeves look like the trench coat, where underneath he looks like he's wearing a turtleneck. Just now realized that's kind of risen up. You kind of see his neck underneath there. Get that down. All right. Anyway, so on the inside, you can see um, he's got like his little holster for his handgun that sways around. He's also got uh, pouches for his ammo clips. This is all pliable, can be removed probably if you take off the jacket. Um, he doesn't have any type of shield logo because he doesn't have that in the movie, but I'll, I'll compare it next to the Ultimate Nick Fury from the other Hasbro 2 pack. I really like how the belt looks, where you can see all the um, buttons where you can tighten it, and it's got the little silver clip. I think that's really cool. Um, go over the back, you can kind of see. That looks really good. Um, I like the holster on the side here that just fits just fine. It's one thing, when, when figures can hold their weapons, that's an added bonus to me. I think that is just makes the figure that much more fun. As I struggled to do this while looking at the camera. <laughs> But I just think that's really cool when um, figures can holster all their weapons. I think that looks awesome. So I like the holster. I like how it's kind of a glossier uh, black paint to give it that more shimmer. Um, I like the little silver you know, buckles to show there's it's strapped around his thigh. I think it looks really cool. Again, the pants look great. You know, they're just that cargo pants look. You can see the pouches there. You can see more of that... Um, Sculpted etching right there on the pants, giving it more of a fabric look. I like the boots, the nice shinier black, you know, kind of combat looking boots. You can see more of the silver, um, or it's not painted, never mind, it's just kind of shiny right there. It's just a black buckle. I wish they would have painted that silver. Overall, I mean, it's a good um, looking figure. I, the, my just gripe about this um, is just the, um, probably the ankles are my biggest issue. Okay, we're going go ahead and go over the articulation. <laughs> His head looks down that far, looks up good, looks left and right. It's got ball joints in the shoulders, so they move out, they move forward. It's got an upper bi upper um, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows work very well. It's got wrist rotation, also those wrists move up and down. The ab crunch is not very good, um, it just, it's just not there. Same thing with the, it doesn't go back, but it rotates just fine. Um, it's got ball joint, it's got that Y joint in the leg, so you have to kind of rotate it to where you see the articulation there, and you can kick it forward. You're going to rotate it, kick it to the side. He's got um, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, 
um, no boot rotation, but he's got rotation at the ankles, and they move down that same, I mean, that much. I mean, they don't really move down or up, they just rotate. There's no um, ankle rocker either. So that's, that's my problem, because you kind of have to have them a little bit kind of spread out, you know, to have them standing, but you can't, I don't know, it just kind of limits the posing. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how tall Nick Fury is. All right, guys, so Nick Fury stands right pat, right on just a little bit past six inches tall. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a comparison with the ultimate Nick Fury from the two packs. You guys can kind of see the difference. Um, obviously, a different head sculpt. I, I, I prefer this one, but if you're going with, you know, making a movie Avengers display, this one's dead on. I think this is awesome. I think it looks, like I said before, it looks just like Samuel L. Jackson, but I just want to kind of show you as a comparison for the comic Nick Fury with the movie. Um, you can see the holsters are a lot different. He holsters his handgun here, and then he's just got the same, but the bowler body is exactly the same. You can see it's got a holster there. Um, upper body, upper body, same, same coat, just different head sculpt, same, different different hands. Um, but you can see he's got the shield agent or shield logo. I think that looks awesome. But just kind of give you a little, little look here. And then we'll also, I'll show you guys <clears throat> him next to Red Skull, so you can kind of see the similarities of the hand. So you can see they can both hold, share the cube together. All right, hey, can can I hold that for a little bit? No. Anyway, but see, this is actually an exact same figure. You can see the holsters are exactly the same, same coat, just different coloring, different head sculpt, same hands, same exact figure, just a red skull body, pretty much. But So, there you go, guys. Um, that's my review on Nick Fury from the recent um, Toys R Us 3-pack. I'll give you guys a little look at all three of the figures together. I think it's a, a great um, a great three pack. I really do. It's a little pricey to me. So if you can get those that twenty percent off coupon, I say get it. Um, Agent Coulson is definitely my favorite out of the three. But there you go, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, hit the like button. Leave a comment. I always like I have, I'm missing your guys' comments. You guys, only, I've only gotten one comment today. Um, thanks again, Clay. Uh, but yeah, let me hear some comments. I like hearing. I like responding and engaging with you guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you have it. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye.